You don't rise to the top of the Italian mafia through polite words and manners. You become the head of a family and the father of organized crime through murder, extortion, and avoiding assassination through sheer luck. It's how Charles Luciano got his nickname, Lucky. Born Salvatore Luciano on November 24, 1897, Charlie and his family left Sicily, Italy, and came to the United States in 1906 when he was nine years old. The family settled in the borough of Manhattan in New York City, and Salvatore had issues speaking English, which made his education in school difficult. He dropped out of school in 1914 after beginning his first racket, beating up the other kids in school if they didn't pay for his protection. Once he was out of school, he had a few small and part-time jobs before becoming friends with two Jewish teenagers from his neighborhood, Meyer Lansky and Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. The three would stay lifelong friends and later would become legendary gangsters in the underworld. Charles Luciano started dealing drugs in 1916 and was first busted by the police in 1916 when he was arrested for selling heroin and served six months in prison. Other mafia figures started taking notice of this young man and his ambition, including Giuseppe Joe the Boss Massiera and Arnold Rothstein. Charlie became rich by the mid-1920s as prohibition laws hit the United States, and there were millions of dollars to be made in bootlegging. Rothstein served as a mentor to Luciano before being murdered in 1928, and Luciano went back to working with Joe the Boss Masseria during the Castellamari's War against Salvatore the Duke Maranzano. The war ended with Luciano ordering the assassination of his own boss, Masiera, who was shot to death on April 15, 1931. Maranzano went on to call himself the boss of all bosses, but he didn't last long, after Luciano ordered him murdered a few months later on September 10, 1931. Luciano got rid of the title of boss of all bosses and realized that organization was needed if the mafia was to thrive. The so-called Five Families and the Commission was formed with Luciano as the head of the commission to avoid bloodshed, turf wars, settle large issues between families, and of course, to maximize profits. As the leader of the commission though, he was a natural target for law enforcement. One young man in particular, a prosecutor named Thomas Dewey, who wanted to make a name for himself, prosecuted Luciano on the charge of prostitution after it was noticed that all the call girls that were being arrested were using Lucky's lawyers to make bail. Dewey, who would go on to become the 47th governor of New York, got his conviction, and a judge sentenced Luciano to serve between 30 and 50 years in prison. Luciano was able to strike a deal with Thomas Dewey, and during World War II, the Mafia made sure that the New York docks were free of issues and that he would get clemency and a commuted or shorter sentence, and that Luciano would be deported from the United States to Italy. He spent the rest of his life under the watchful eye of the Italian police, with his luck finally running out after suffering from the heart attack which killed him in 1962. Charles Lucky Luciano, the criminal mastermind who shaped the American Mafia forever, died at the age of 64.